Welcome to my 2018-19 classroom tour. Nothing has changed out here. However, there are some seats out here for students to work. The teacher also um, did the same thing for an area of flexible seating. So you'll see how my classroom has changed from last year. So this is with the lights off right now. And I apologize for the mess because school has already started and I figured if I didn't shoot this video now, it would not get done. So, that's without the lights. Let me cut the lights back on and then go over my room real quick. So last year I wanted to do this, paint the wall right here so that way it went along with the, the big wall right here and the wall over there. But if you watched that video, I think I said like 75% of my room was done, but I just stopped fixing up my room. I also wanted a curtain right here because there's that window and I wanted it here because whenever we have lockdowns, we're supposed to cover our window. And so instead of putting up paper there, I have the curtain. I can actually pull it back and, and tie it back so that way I can see who's out there. This area right here, I covered the bulletin board with felt because I want it to be a, an interactive place where students can get pieces that have Velcro on the back and they can attach it here. I don't care like if the felt um, comes loose. It's really just an activity space for students. I'm going to do the same thing to that one, so that's not done. Obviously, my room's not done either, but at this point, um, it's just time to move on. This I've had forever, and I don't even know why I put it there, just to hang it, but it's probably going to come down. Here are some blue LED lights. My very first classroom tour in 2016-17, I had some blue LED lights, on, I believe, on the top of my cabinets in my old classroom, and so I wanted to kind of bring that back this school year. So I had this table, I got it from a teacher last year, and I lowered it, but then I didn't really utilize it and I put it in the back. So this space, I got some pillows and the little, these are like garden things where you can put like a plant on it from Big Lots. And I know I said in my Instagram story that I didn't buy any furniture and then like two days later I went to Big Lots, but they were on clearance and the pillows. Anything that I say was from Big Lots, I got it on clearance, so it was like really cheap. The rug I got from home, and I was gonna toss it last year, but then when I started thinking about flexible seating, I decided not to because dog number one, when she was a puppy, did that. And then her little sister, when she was a puppy a year later, did that. Um, they're pretty good, they didn't mess up on the carpet. Um, just in case I had students that were allergic to dogs, I just made sure that it was professionally cleaned, and I cleaned it again, and also vacuumed it. So if there's an area they want, you know, the students wanna lay down, or just sit down, they can. I got this from Ikea, so if they wanna just like sit with their Chromebooks, they can do that as well. This is a small group area, so that's a big thing that I'm trying to work on this year because some students at the end of year survey, they told me that they wish I would've worked with them one-on-one -on -one or in small group versus like the entire class. So this is an area for interventions or even for students that are advanced and I wanna push them um, even further, I can have them all sit here while I have a seat right here and work with them. I got this and this from Michaels. This actually came in handy today because we did an activity where um, students use this plastic sheet protector and wrote on there. I always wanted one of these, so I bought the chimes for my class signal this school year. Over here again, the I got these from Big Lots. I got a total of six plus that white one where the phone is at. So this it can sit four. Over here, where I had the eight um, shelving unit, that was over against the wall, standing vertically in the fall last year. Then I put it horizontally in the spring, decided to bring it over here as part of a community space. So anything for interactive notebook materials, the students can grab. I disassembled my student group boxes, the bins. These were actually the original bins or boxes, I would say. When I first started teaching high school, I bought 30 of them, I think, from Target. And when I left teaching, I took them to my parents because my mother's a primary school teacher. And I said, take whatever you want. She didn't take those. So when I moved into this classroom, I brought them all back. I just didn't use them last year. Headphones, first aid kit, so the students have to, don't have to ask me for first aid. Sorry, like I have the hiccup. Um, they don't have to ask me for first aid kit. It's right there. These are the chairs that I got from Donors Choose last year. I took two of the tables and I raised them with, with uh, six inch table legs against the periodic table. And again, these are, this is really for like an iPad, but their Chromebooks are small, but 
they'll fit on there if they want to use it. This I got off of Teacher Pay Teachers from Jen Jones at Hello Literacy. I believe her Instagram is at Hello Jen Jones. And so I remember when I first signed into Teacher Pay Teachers, this is one of the first things that I saw. And I was still a district level specialist, and I kept thinking to myself, if I ever got, um, came back into the classroom, I would always do something like this where it would pop out almost like 3D. And I actually want to put some lights in there and then behind the little bar. Here I have a standing table, but I'm probably going to need to get better legs or take the legs off this one and either make it still a standing table because only two students are supposed to sit here and face that way. The other one, two students are supposed to stand there and face this way. But I guess the students like the standing table because they all kind of stand around this one. But I don't, I'm a little bit worried about that. Old setup from last year, four chairs. I think last year's video I talked about these two chairs. I had two friends moving to Dallas at the same time. They rented a U-Haul. These were like the last two things and they wouldn't fit. So I was like, I'll take them. These two things come from my home office and they just would sit in my office collecting dust. So I figured I'd use them. These two tables I just have on bed risers. And so again, I have a pushed against the wall right here and the wall right there. So if students want to look outside, they can. Here's some decor that I had in my very first classroom in the main building. It just was sitting in the cabinets last year because I didn't really know what to do with them. Got these from Big Lots. They actually do light up, but I don't have them on. I just use books from college. You know, put those, all that money I spent on my master's and um, bachelor's degree. There you go. <laughs> Innovation station. Actually, my projector is down right now, so I'm using a cart. So this space is kind of filled up right now. Uh, not right for this video, but um, since the projector is not secure, I have it in the prep room. Um, back here I have two tables, two standing tables. One I got from a teacher in this building, the other one I got from another teacher in the main building, and so I put these back here. Students want to be in the back. My cell phone issue that I'm not going to do with this year is right here. Students are going to exchange their cell phone for a calculator. And I need to still number this, but that's my plan. I already told the students what my policy was. So we start um, the second week of school. Um, the books are still up there. I also did that back in July when I did the wall up there because last year I had, for my very first classroom tour in the main building, I believe I talked about the fact that I had these mirrors that I bought from Ikea and I couldn't drive nails through the wall, but I had wanted to hang them up. And I had them last school year. So what I started to do when I did the walls up there is I started taping them off because originally I was going to paint them like that. I never got to it. So then as I was thinking, okay, what can I put up there? Because I, last year I had the plants, I decided maybe I can like paint something and it actually worked. So it came out really nice. So I have, it says Bunsen burner off the periodic table. And I actually have more periodic table phrases that I'm going to put up throughout the school year. But again, this is still not even done. Like the books are falling down. So. This I had up there against the main wall in the front, but I put it back here because I wanted more space. The mirrors I haven't installed yet, and they just kind of been sitting on this, but I want to put them in the space right there so when I'm working in small group and students are in the back, I can look in the mirror to see kind of like what they're doing. Um, this is actually a second one. I didn't have this one in my room last school year because it was in the main building. At some point a couple years ago, it got moved into the main building. And long story short, anything that was taken from this building was told it needed to return to this building. And so somebody was not very happy uh, that they were losing that and it had to come back here. So yeah, that's pretty much my room. I don't think I left anything out. My posters still say the same, the Instagram poster. I switched out some of the pictures and I put some from last year's students as well. And yeah, that's my room pretty much i don't think i missed anything i didn't have the file cabinet last year so i have it this year so it kind of gives me a small area i have to put the printer um and yeah so that's my room i'm trying to think if i left anything out but if you have any questions comments please leave that in the comment section down below and let me know what you think of my room right now my students like flexible seating and my former students came in and they're like why didn't you do this for us i would have learned a lot better i would have passed your class and this is the reason i'm doing it because i know that the environment, as some of my students said already, is very positive and home-like. 
and that's what I wanted to accomplish. And so hopefully my goal for this year will, um, you know, pay off. Do me a favor, if there was anything about this video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or share the video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.